Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Mask of the Betrayer. Well, I again have a jaunty hat and an appropriate costume for a duelist. I do not have my Neverwinter 9 tabard though, which is unfortunate. I, I magicked up a swashbuckler's hat through the console code because you can purchase it. It does supposedly give a plus two to diplomacy, but that's more due to, I think, it looking jaunty than it being actually magic. But anyway, we were going north up here to talk to Oku's family. And I am going to go ahead and do suppress, because as I discovered, suppressing is much better than consuming at a really. And now I'm at spirit energy again. Noble Kuma, venerable Wotomo, shake out your dreams and look who has come and his head hanging on low in shame. Ancestors, do not claim us as kin. Our blood ran thin in your veins, and now it does not run at all. Do you remember this place as it was, enough to understand the ruin you have made? You mean to say that Oku is responsible for all these maddened spirits? I know nothing of this, Elder. These spirits saved me a life, but I am not. We know of your oath, son of my son. You led your race to ruin. Have you not looked for your kin? Have you not wondered where they've gone? Or does this monster who holds your leash not permit such thoughts? Honored ancestors, if Oku has committed some crime, at least allow him to defend himself. Success! Influence game! You see, she is no monster. We will end this curse, and. Do you remember the fight on the ice, Grants, on how you led your clan against the Eater of Spirits? Hmm. Oku told me he fought the previous Spirit Eater and the man spared his life. Uh, my grandson's wounds were deep. His spirit bled and faded. He should have come to the wells to die, Venerable Wotomo, as our law commands. The Queen of Talking Beast would have judged his soul and freed him from his oath. Oku chose his oath above our law. He brought the monster to our sacred pharaoh and the chamber that was meant for him. Do you, I'm sure he had a good reason. Dreams are returning me, little one. Perhaps it is the waters of the wells drifting on the air. I remember how the spirit either traced runes upon the stone, the same runes you saw when you awoke. When he died and the hunger fled his corpse, it was trapped by his will. As long as it was trapped, the hunger could not pass to another. My grandson would have you think that he made a noble sacrifice, Spirit Eater, but he knew that he would do me his race. Our barrow is a sacred place, a wellspring of dreams. It was poisoned by the monster that was trapped in him. All our race went mad. They perished as wild, slavering brutes. If Oka did this, he had good reason to end the curse. I need not explain my reasons to petty ventral ghosts. They lured me here, lying in wait. No better than mortal men in the skins of beasts. Whatever your reasons, Oku, son of Koju, you must answer for the death of our race. So say all the elders. And what would you have done? Allow the curse to continue and devour even more spirits. A king's duty is to his clan first, and to other races second, or not at all. You answer a crime of kinslaying by committing the same crime. What justice is there in that? We would not look at them, Naren. They are old. Once they dreamed of wind and blood and sky. Now they chatter like apes and bicker over laws. No, my grandson is right. We have lingered too long without flesh or fur. Our minds are full of words, not dreams. Let Oku find his peace in his own way if he can. But do not look for us again, son of my son. Your decision doomed your race. So your race must be lost to you, now and always. Farewell, Grandfather. Well. I'm wondering if maybe I would have preferred that to be a thing. If if I was, if that's where I got the braces that gave the, the really high, um, some of the high stats. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, that's going to be. Okay. I have multiple items to give. Armor bonus? Oh yes I do. This gives armor bonus. Okay. Um, that's why this isn't really useful. Okay, got it. Okay. 
It's basically just cosmetic. Let's see. New level yes. up. Take the recommended. What is... Oh, no, no. Not rest. Sacred Vengeance? Hmm. I could take Epic Toughness. And I think I will. There we go. Do we have any new slots? We do not. Hey. The water is cool and clear. Behind every ripple and the splash, another sound seems to lurk. The bane of great bear, perhaps, or the howling of a wolf. This is an ancient place. It is sacred to beasts that possess awareness of themselves and their consciousness, like some humans do. They are gone now, but their spirits and memories remain. Their mem these memories are their these memories. These fragments of the waking dream can still be seen, like ripples on the surface of the water. But others swim deep in the undertow of the pools here. Kind of memories: battle, blood, death, sleep, comfort, life, mating. These dr their dreams were not different yours or mine, or some of their senses were keener. They bathed in these wells, and as it soothed them, it also mirrored their feelings and thoughts. Is it possible to see these memories? Not with the eyes with which you see the world, but the dreamer's eye. Perhaps you would have to drink from the pools, however, and they will not show you only the memories of beasts. It may cut into your subconscious as well, though that may serve as an improvement. Old little one, do not drink this water, little one. You are not prepared for what visions it may bring. Now, okay. These spirits and life, they serve my clan. Why has this madness taken? We just answered that question. Apparently that conversation took two hours because my uh, spirit energy went down by two. So, the more you use devour, the more you desire to devour. I should have seen that coming. We got one more thing for Oku to do. Oh dear. We're going to have to wait till night. portal. See, I don't really know what I want to put on the hat. Maybe some natural armor. We're going to talk to the guards first. You want thumping? Thump, thump. Hey, quit bothering him. Bulb is a good guard, but you don't want to get him excited. Look, it's another petitioner. Join the cloud. We're placing bets on how long each of you will wait before you either give up or leave. Or snap. Heh, <laughs> see them snap, snap. Can I get hidden on the bed? Ah, no one's ever asked that before. You're a good sort. Okay, Mole, what do you think? Shall we let the nice petitioner bet? No bet, no bet. Bet's all. Sorry about that. If it were up to me, I'd gladly take your money, but you heard, Mole. Tell me about the other petitioners. We don't keep track of their names and such. Let's see, there's a mind player over there, a vampire lord, a pack of Telthors, 
Oh yeah, there's that group of hopping mad genasians of Uthraki. I only see one of those, so the others must be hiding around here somewhere. Which one are you interested in? Oh, the genasian. What a bunch of kobolds they had the fourth place inside, then their leader had to relieve his bowels, but he refused to go in the corner like everyone else. So he gave up his spot in line just to use a privy. Can you imagine? Why couldn't the Genasi just go out and come back in? Kovea Kaganis doesn't work that way. Mistress is big into the rules, probably because she made them up. So there is a place open inside. Yeah, spread the word, why don't you? Bolv and me would love to see a little bloodshed among the petitions. Actually, Mistress said not to let anyone new in, since the slumbering coven hasn't seen anyone lately. Who's Mistress? She's the hag that runs the Kovea Kagana. She hardly ever comes out of there, so don't expect to see her. We'll talk about something else. You need to see the slumbering coven. Yeah, you and everyone else. You'll have to wait. If you let me through, I could make it worth your while. Failure, here's the thing. We'd love to take your gold. Gold, goldy gold. Calm down, Bull. If a Hagspawn could cry, I would be close to it right now because as much as I'd love, like to line my pockets, we just can't let anyone else in. Why can't you let me in? Take a good look around. There's a mob of very powerful, very influential beings, all of them waiting to get inside. If I let you in, I could drive them over the edge. Snup. Exactly, Bull. It's highly entertaining when the petitioners fight each other, but sending you in would probably turn them on us. We've only got the numbers to control a crowd about half this size. I want to talk about something else. Yeah? What? That is a male hag spawn. Yeah? You sound surprised. Well, they look quite a, but a lot different from you. We spawn of hags come in many shapes and sizes and temperaments, much like the men and women in Russia. Well, granted, I am breathtakingly handsome. The footman you saw, he is a more common cut of face and build among us half breeds. Why? I suspect I inherited the features of my father, and there is a certain awareness I carry that makes me wonder if dreaming shaped me. Not all spawns can walk in dreams as I do. In fact, I do not know of one that can. Okay, tell me about the other petitioners. What about the Mind Flayer? Strange one, his face reminds me of those tentacle monsters you sometimes see poking out of the waters. The last guy the bowl replaced fell in there. Crunch! Yeah, that's what happened to him, all right. Anyway, I never did much like tentacles. Too bad he didn't show up a couple of moons ago. We had some good Yankee visitors, knights wielding those strange-looking blades and claiming they served sent by the Lich Queen or something. Yet Yankee hate to get mind flares, so I hear they probably would have scared that one right off. And the telephones? Damn dipping things! They're always poking around, and I can't seem to spook them away. I guess it would take someone bigger and scarier than me. And the Thraki? Until they were at the Aki came, I never knew apes could talk. I wish this one would be silent. He keeps waving around the smelly sack of rancid meat, saying he needs to feed his brethren inside. And we already heard about the Janassi, but go ahead anyway. I want to talk about... Oh, uh, farewell. Now, the reason we need Opu... Is these things won't talk to us without Opu. The Bear King left his barrow. How strange. Why would spirit kid petitioners be petitioners in this place? Perhaps the foul reek of this place confounds my sense of smell, but these pups have an unnatural scent to them. And he keeps company with flesh and blood beings. How confusing. Oku travels with me. Brothers, this one speaks to us. I understand the language, but I lack the willingness to hear it. Children, she is with me. Speak to her. I wonder why you are so far from your barrow, but we will answer the questions of your follower. Why are you here? Our territory borders on this beach, and nightly we are disturbed by the cries of other Telthor bound within this hollow sunken stone. What? If that is true, the covet's blood will flow. You come to release the trapped Telthors. Release them? In a sense, that is true. We would wish to silence their bothersome cries and devour them to add to our strength. What kind of nonsense is this? Why would you behave as vultures and feed on carrion? We do what comes naturally, cousin Bear. These telephones are act as common beasts and disgrace by kind. Such petulant children should be disciplined by fear or fang. I agree. Something needs to be done. Influence. Ooh, that's much better than I did before. Uh, it has been too long since I have disciplined a wayward pup. I will enjoy this. Worthless, corpse-gnawing maggots. 
lower your hands and leave my sight. I will give you a moment's head start, and if I catch you, I will tear off your limbs and shove down your goal at a feast of your own carrying. Now run, and off they go. And the Genasi. Yes? Leave. Quick. leave me be, petitioner. Never before in my life have I been more incensed. I heard you gave up your spot to mine. That is what they're telling it, is it? Well, I never. Here's what happened. My entourage and I were thin, covert garnets in the fourth place to see the slumbering cupboard. No sooner did I attain my place in line than the slumbering cupboard decided to stop giving audiences. So I waited with the patience that only royalty can muster. Eventually, naturally, my bodily functions imposed themselves and I need relief. But there are no appropriate facilities within covert garnets. You mean they have no privies in there? Precisely. Can you imagine my predicament? And when I told the guards of my knees, they just laughed and began taking bets. Taking bets. So I was forced to come outside Kovea Kaganas to use the facilities here. When I was finished, the guards would not let me back in. Insolence. Okay, I could do this, but I'm not going to. How dreadful. You should not have to tolerate such insolence. You are quite right. Why I should leave this moment and file a formal complaint. I have connections to you. Thank you for illuminating this matter for me. If you remain, I hope you will not fall for the same tricks. Farewell to you. Come, entourage, my entourage. Let us leave with haste. Yeah. Oh, that guy's a merchant. Well, let's go over here for... Actually, we'll, come to... we'll talk to you. Spirit Eater, you betray the gift. If this were a place more private, I would hasten your inevitable destruction. Let's find some place private then. You are right to yearn for a quick draft, and I will provide it to you that the gift may pass on to one more worthy. What an arrogant creature. These disgusting apes have changed little in the years of my slumber. Meet me on the dark side of this building when you are prepared for your end, and off he runs. joined his other friends. Are you speaking telepathically? Some illithids deign to push air through their throats to communicate with the slave races I do not. And why are you here? Wait for a fellow illithid. He is within. I've heard the coven isn't seeing anyone. I am patient. Our concern has existed for millennia. Its solution can wait a while longer. What is your concern? It is not a matter fit for the inquisitive minds of slaves. I just want to learn if I can aid the master race. In that case, I will try to explain it in the most basic terms. Long ago, a slave race rebelled against us. To our shame, the, the rebellion was successful, and to this day, they hunt the illithid. We die at their hands faster than we spawn larvae, and at such a rate, the illithids will be extinct within the next three centuries. Ah, you speak of the Githyanki. I'm surprised you know of the Githyanki. I could say they hunted me as well. I prevailed. I escaped several Githyanki on the way here. The Githyanki have no business on such a rural planet as this. There were no fewer than six Gish Mind Slayers, and led by a knight wielding a silver sword. <gasps> neither your face nor mine, neither your face nor mine indicate you are lying. Mind Slayers, I must return to the safety of the Underdark immediately. I never thought I would owe my life to a slave race, but you have proved instrumental. Take this trinket as a measure of how much I value my life. And your friend inside. He will fend for himself or perish. I hear his death scream in my thoughts. If I hear his death scream in my thoughts, I will know what happened. Now I must go. And off he runs. And we already killed the, uh, there was a vampire over there that we already killed. Okay, what is this amulet? Oh, right. We'll have to wait till Sophia's back in the party. <clears throat> Spirit Eater, we will devour you, and perhaps one of us will be blessed with you. Down. 
We'll take the gold piece, but I'm not taking the piece. Okay. Now, I don't particularly want to take Oku in there. I did last time. And he is useful, but what do you want? Are you calling me stupid? Oh, I didn't read what he said. I see the gear you're wearing. For every step, for even stepping outside your home so poorly equipped, you must be either very brave or very stupid. I see your weak, that weak gear you're wearing. For, okay, are you calling me stupid? Don't get upset. I assume you're just brave, not stupid. But bravery can only take you so far. To go all the way, you must outfit yourself in a Marga's fine armor. Oh, so, 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 so you're a merchant. So glad you asked. Here, have a look at my goods. I'll even give you some gold for the trash you're equipped with now. And what is this? The likely amulet. Oh, that's actually fairly nice. This one's pretty good. Having something that protects from mind, mind, uh, uh, oh, that's not the one I wanted. Okay, okay. We'll have to go trade that out with, uh, Sophia later. I wanted the one she's wearing. I mean, I could do this. AC goes up, all that goes up, but, okay, still have that. Not protected from mind effects anymore. Okay. Let's see. Robes of the Shining Hand. I can actually use those, apparently. This would be useless without wearing those. Oh! You're where I got those. Interesting. Yes? Yes. Versus of dexterity. What do you need? Those are going to go to Sophia, I think. If you're wondering what these are, plus const constitution plus eight, regeneration plus two. This is now better. Except for this does have natural armor bonus. We'll see how this works. That's all you have. All the not katana. You do have potions of heal. We'll take those. Okay. useful. These are less so. I could take that. Okay. I will see you in the next video. To me, my allies, talk I shall certainly lead. talk to you in a little bit. When you c we come back, uh, Oku will be gone. I'll be back here, and Sophia will be in his place. Talk to you then.